You know, for fine assembly tasks, robotics has frequently been difficult to implement. In many cases, fasteners, for example, are very tiny. They require very, very limited torque, or very precise torque specs. Electronics is a classic example of an industry where this has been a problem. But that's changing. I'm with Max Falcone. He's Senior Manager of Systems Engineering with Kawasaki Robotics USA. And Max, we're standing in front of a collaborative robot from Kawasaki that's handling uh, what a representative of, of PCBs, printed circuit boards, and also fastening with very, very tiny screws. Tell me about it. That's correct, Jim. So what we have here is the Duaro. It is a eight-axis collaborative robot meets the full collaborative standard. And with a system like this, with the proper risk assessment, meets the 150066. So we do full force, torque, and speed monitoring through our Cubic S device, which is a class four safety rated device within the robot. And this, the robot itself has a full uh, field bus capability. So we support ethernet IP, uh, several slave modules and CC link and device nut as well. So we can incorporate things like the screw feeder that you see down here and the screw guns very simply and easily. Now in this case, uh, we've got two arms. They're operating in a unique way. They can edge grip the PCB, which is an, a, a, a real advantage. You don't have to disturb potentially surface mount components or something on top. Uh, also, it's using uh, different, different tools, different end effectors here, and it's selecting from them. Would this typically be the kind of installation you'd see in an electronics assembly application? You would, you would. And so the robot itself is designed to take up the same space generally as a 50th percentile male human being doing these assembly type processes. So we're able to use similar tools that they're using today and push the robot up to a, up to a workstation and have it work with the same tools that they're using today with slight modifications for the gripping. Now, in the past, we've seen automation for fine assembly works. Very expensive, sophisticated fixturing was necessary. Alignment, of course, is basically engineered into the hardware, in a Correct. sense. In this case, I notice your fixturing is not particularly expensive or complex. No, the fixturing is very simple. So the idea is break everything down to its lowest common denominator. So we use a lot of crowding type fixturing to crowd corners into places, use both arms working together. The robot, one of the unique things is that you can actually operate this as two separate robots, two, two tasks at the same time or you can bring both arms together to manipulate one piece together in a, in a cooperative fashion. Now in this case, uh, we're, we're, we've got a vacuum gripper, we've got a suction assembly, we're using edge, essentially edge grippers to pick and align the card, we've got, we're driving screws at the same time. What other things could you do with these with different end effectors on this thing? Could you inspect, for example? Or, yes, yeah. so we, we have vision options with fully integrated vision system where we can do 2D guidance as well as inspection. Uh, we have different op applications where we can do some sealing or potting, gasketing, and we have several other applications where we've seen uh, s using some of the tactile features to do like uh, a keyboard uh, inspection or a tablet type inspection for functionality. It's a classic case of trunks industry, of course, is, is the component there or is it not? Correct, yeah. correct. Yeah. So the vision system integrated in that helps a lot in that regard. Interesting. Now, it's, in this case, of course, is that we're, we're driving screws. Uh, torque is crucial, especially with delicate screws like this. Uh, in this case, you've got a, a torque limiting system? Correct, yeah. correct. Okay. Built into the sensor here, we have a three key on sensors here that shows the torque, and that's all communicating directly to the robot. So once the torque's achieved, we release the vacuum, stop spinning the gun, and, and pull away. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, um, accuracy, repeatability, those are the questions that always come up whenever we're talking about Absolutely. robotics. Tell me about it in this case. Four kilogram payload, both arms working together, or two kilograms individually for each arm, we can achieve 50 micron of repeatability. That's high repeatability, efficient production for delicate assembly processes from Kawasaki Robotics, says Max Falcone.